Hi, I'm Ray and I'm the director of the Gray Bureau at AFPA. We're going to be making a series of videos that help aspiring lumber graders learn and grasp the different necessary concepts to succeed at the AFPA lumber grading course. Lumber grading is a very integral part of the forest industry. Um, essentially its definition is that it separates portions of the log into separate grades based on quality and, it, and their intended use. Lumber graders need to have a thorough understanding of the different characteristics within lumber that affect their strength uh, to be able to place them into the specific grades for their intended use. In Canada there are four different species groups that have defined structural design values. They are SPF, Douglas fir larch, hemp fir, and norse species. In Alberta the most commonly processed and grade stamp structural species is SPF. So we'll be focusing in closer on that to help identify the different species within the group. Within the SPF group, we can find white spruce, Engelmann spruce, black spruce, red spruce, lodgepole pine, jack pine, balsam fir, and subalpine fir. So here we have a couple examples of spruce. Um, just to give you an idea of what they look like, uh, they are some of the characteristics of spruce is that it's a lighter, whiter colored wood. Um, it can be anywhere from pretty white to slightly yellowish. Um, the heartwood and the sapwood on this piece here, you can see um, the center of the, the piece here, the pith. You can't tell the difference between the heartwood and the sapwood on this piece because this is the edge of the log and this is the center. Uh, so the heartwood and the sapwood are very similar colored most of the time. Sometimes you'll get a brown looking stain in the heartwood, uh, but a lot of times it's, it's fairly uniform throughout. Another characteristic of spruce is its knots. In this piece here you can see its knot is uh, kind of a dirty blonde looking color. Uh, it's not very contrasting to the grain of the wood compared to some other species. The surface finish of a piece of spruce is generally pretty smooth and silky. Um, if you run your fingers across it, uh, they won't want to stick on the piece at all. And another characteristic that you find in spruce that's not very commonly found in the other SPF group is uh, pitch pockets. Here we have a couple samples of pine. Uh, for pine, some of the characteristics would be the color versus spruce is a little bit uh, darker, more yellowish, golden colored. Um, you can definitely see the difference in pine from the heartwood and the sapwood. The heartwood generally has a little bit of a reddish tinge to it, and the sapwood is generally more white, white to yellow. The surface finish on pine is also smooth, but slightly tacky. So think candle wax, if you're running your fingers across it, it's a little bit tacky or sticky in a way. Um, the knots on pine also, they're gen generally a little bit more dark and contrasting to the grain of the lumber. And if you look at them closely, they look a little bit kind of wet or pitchy um, and they're also a little bit sticky as well. Um, some other features to differentiate uh, a lodgepole pine would be if you can identify the pith of the lumber, you'll see some needle marks around it. So that's from the, the needle marks or the needles of the baby tree poking through as the tree grows around it. And another common characteristic in lodgepole pine is that it has dimples on it. So there are very little small um, kind of golf ball shaped dimples all over the piece of lumber. And here's an example of uh, some of the heartwood on a pine piece. You can definitely see it's kind of got a darker kind of reddish tinge to it versus the sapwood which is lighter. So here we have a sample of balsam fir. And balsam fir is not quite as common in the SPF group. It uh, generally accounts for less than 10% between the spruce and the pine. 
Um, so the way you can tell balsam is it's generally a much more dull looking piece. Um, not quite as smooth because it's quite wet uh, when it's cut. Um, another characteristic of it is a little bit kind of darker grayish purplish knots. Uh, larger knots in the balsam have a yellowish tinge to them. Another um, kind of giveaway is when the balsam dries out because it has such a high moisture content, it tends to shrink and create uh, little checks along the center line of the cut. So you'll see lots of little checking down the center. Here I have an example of three different species. We have spruce, pine, and balsam fir. Um, you can see in almost contrast the center piece, which is balsam fir, to the edge pieces. The short piece is a spruce and the long piece is a pine. You can definitely see that the center piece is a little bit more dull. Um, the spruce piece is a little bit more kind of whiter and brighter than the rest. And the pine piece has more of kind of a, a golden reddish tinge to it. A certified grade stamp is the buyer's assurance that the lumber involved has been carefully inspected by a qualified grader and that it was graded under a standardized grading rule. This ensures that anyone purchasing a piece of lumber throughout Canada with the same grade stamp will be getting an equivalent product. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.